This is a Crosby View, which I sold uh, for £25,471 in June the 15th in 1990. You can see here, just below the centre of the spine, it's the black writing there, June the 15th. Now, if you look here at my books uh, for that period, 89.90, it's clearly in there. These are the figures from my books, and you can see there's 8,040 materials there, and then the following year, 6,500. So there's about £7,000, uh, maybe just £10,000 missing on the materials. With Murphy's figures here, there's absolutely nothing. She doesn't allow any re renovation costs whatsoever. Here again, just returning to the books again. Now, going back to June 1990, you can see here in the general, the main page, if you look down at the bottom there, and a close-up is about to happen now, you can see there, I've actually put 8 Crosby View, and I've even put where it's banked. Now, returning to March of that year, just coming back to review the car again, the Porsche, which is not claimed, it quite clearly is. There's pieces all over this book referring to the Porsche. Now, if we can move on now to the uh, bank savings books here. Now, these are the books that Chris Urquhart and Kay Murphy have withheld from me for over 12 months. I'd never had sight of these books, and I was expected to answer all the points, all the entries that were in this book, by Kay Murphy. As you can see here there's actually some yellow highlighter marks. Now the first entry in number Yorkshire Bank book number 168597 and it's a one monthly savings account is dated the 16th of October 1991 and it's a deposit of £900. This consists of during the period between February and March area up to October time I withdrew several hundred pounds because I was looking for another van. As I mentioned previously my Daihatsu van had blown up and I was driving around job to job in a Porsche 911 and clearly obviously this was not satisfactory. So I had about five or six hundred pounds out of my um, my uh, current account. Now. Also at this time I had a national provincial savings account which you saw in the picture there it was the yellow book actually and this is the account number 525416401 now on the 13th of the 9th 91 this is only three days earlier to this this uh, entry I actually withdrew 600 pounds cash and it went to the Yorkshire Bank 168597 so 600 pounds of the 900 pounds here actually came from the bank book which Kay Murphy had in her hands. It's so easy to see. You just look in the National Provincial Bank book and on the 13th of the 9th, 91, there's a cash withdrawal and it goes back into the um, one month savings account, 168597. Three days later, £900 deposit, of which £600 comes directly from the National Provincial. If we look at the next two items there for £100 and £200 which is easily covered by the excess cash, cash which I had in my hand at that time. Now I also bought at that period just prior to this was a Sherpa van and this was paid for by cheque to the Central Motor Auctions so any cash that I brought out of my current account was not needed so it simply went back in to my savings box obviously uh, because I was saving up to buy the, the farm in France. The next item you see here is dated on the May 11th, 92. Now, after the repair of the Daihatsu van, this was put up for sale in the Auto Trader, and I believe I got something in the order of maybe £500 for it. There's actually supposedly two small checks going here. Now, you can draw your own conclusion from this, but if I got a check paid at that time for the Daihatsu van, it would have gone into one of two places, and it's accounted for in the accounts anyway and it would have been put into probably my savings account because I've mentioned again I'm saving up to buy France. Now if you look at the final entry in this book it's dated the August the 15th 92 and it's for £1500. Now at first I thought this was perhaps my Cavalier because I believe I got somewhere around about that when I was actually you know buying the Porsche but it couldn't have been that because I saw this much earlier. Eventually I traced this and it was very easy. In fact the 
proof of it was actually in case Murphy's hands once again. Now if we look here, these are my day-to-day -day sheets which you had copies of all this sort of stuff. Now on my day-to-day -day sheets there you will actually see coming up shortly on July in 92 there's um, a pay there for £1,500 for Moans. That's July 92 Moans. It, it's in my books at 505 so obviously this is, this is also in accounts as well. And there's a payment made there like I say for £1,500 which again was actually paid and deposited in the next month which was August of 92. Quite simple. She had the evidence in her hands and she couldn't even bother using it. Now the m next book we'll look at is the Yorkshire Bank book um, 156999. This is the one month savings account. Now there's only one entry here that Kay Murphy's actually marked up. It's for £788.04 and it was on November the 18th and that was in 1993. Now as I mentioned earlier I was consolidating all my bank books trying to get them down to an easier working level because I was buying the farm in France. Everything I got was up for sale private, you name it, I was selling it. Now at this time I did have some uh, British gas shares, uh, BT and some TSB shares and what I used to do is buy them in £1,000 lumps. Now you know as, we are, as we've all done with the shares we've had our fingers burnt and I never seem to get my money back on these damn things and quite clearly here this is one of the uh, shares here it's set for £788 and 4p. Now we'll move on to the uh, next bank account which is a three monthly premium and uh, this is number 156849 and the first entry in here which Kay Murphy has marked up is July the 14th 92 for £901.59. Now as I've just previously mentioned about the shares I buy them in £1,000 lumps so th this there should be three amounts similar uh, actually coming back into the accounts and this quite clearly is one of them. Now we move on to the second one there which is July the 11th 1993. Now at this time I checked my uh, books and everything and uh, I found that I actually um, placed an ad in the exchange and Mark to actually sell a lot of old car parts which I had and I had a uh, Daimler gearbox, Daimler engine, Jaguar parts, you name it and the check number is number 2540 and it's for £7.37. Now this this was actually uh, paid for the 15th of 12th 92 so quite clearly this amount here had come from the uh, the sale of the gearboxes and the bits and pieces. I know for a fact that I actually got three to four hundred pounds I think it was for the um, gearbox and we got something similar for the engine. I think it was it's either 400 for the engine or 300 for the gearbox, one, one way or the other. But I actually did get quite a lot for the parts because they are collector's cars. And like I've mentioned previously, that I have a quite a collection of old cars and bits and pieces. Now we move on again to the May the 10th, 93, and it says here two checks, 815 pounds. Once again, I checked my um, my uh, current account and. Um, on the 3rd of the 5th, 93, I had a check for 2623 for Leeds Skyrack Housing Ads. On the 13th of the 4th, 93, I put on a similar advert in the weekly news. Now, this certainly was a deposit because I had a habit of doing this was simply depositing the money from the tenants in my savings accounts. The next entry that Kerr Murphy has marked is December the 7th, 93 for £1,031 and it says two cheques. Now I trace back into my current accounts again and sure enough there was um, a small cheque for the NAD trader to advertise for car parts once again. Now at this time I advertised a Burlington Arrow. I've shown you pictures of this earlier, I'll put another one in a second or two. And I sold, I advertised them at £1,000. Now also, ironically, I can remember this distinctly that I had a thermos flask and uh, <laughs> I had to send it back for repair and the company that actually repaired the thermos flask and sent me a new one through sent me back 31p to cover the post and package. So that's where you get 31p from and the £1,000 will come directly from the car.